In today's video, we're going to be solving algebraic equations. So I'm going to take you through a variety of questions, starting with pretty simple ones and then getting more and more complicated. So let's start by solving 3x equals 12. And the whole point of these equations is to work out the value for x. Now, obviously, 3x means 3 times x. So what we want to do is get x by itself so that it's equal to itself alone. And the way in which we do that is by getting rid of the 3. What is the opposite of timesing by 3? Well, it is dividing by 3. So we're going to divide by 3. And the crucial thing here is that it is on both sides. So that therefore becomes 12 divided by 3, which is 4. So x equals 4, and that is your final answer. In part B, we're looking at x plus 5 equals 7. So we're solving for x, and we know that if we add 5 to x, we get to 7. So we need to get x by itself, which means taking away 5. We have to do the same on both sides, so we're going to take away 5 from both sides to get 7 minus 5, and therefore x equals 2. And don't forget, you can check whether you've got the answer right by substituting it back into the equation, so 2 plus 5. That does equal 7, so we know we've got it right. In part C, we've got x minus 5 equals 1. So how do we get x by itself? Well, we need to get rid of that minus 5. How do you get to 0 from minus 5? Well, you have to add 5. We have to do that to both sides. And therefore, x equals 6. And do notice that I'm lining up all my equal sign to make it a really nicely laid out piece of work. Double check your answer and see if 6 minus 5 equals 1. It does, so we know that the answer is correct. Now, this is slightly more complicated, whereas where we have a situation where half of x equals 12, we want x by itself. So how do we do that? Well, we need to make it equal effectively 1x, which means we need to do a half times 2. So we're going to times 2 on both sides. A half times 2 is just 1, which means we're just left with x by itself. 12 times 2 is 24. Double check your answer. Is half of 24 12? Yes, it is. So that is, again, the correct answer. With part E, we have x over 2 equals 4 over 9. Again, we're looking to get x by itself. So you want it x to equal itself alone. So the way in which we do that is to make sure that it isn't a half. So we have to multiply by 2. We do it on both sides. So half of x times 2 is obviously just x. And then we get 4 over 9 times 2. And as with all fractions, you just multiply the top number by 2 to get 8 over 9. We have 4y squared equals 9. There's many steps now involved. First of all, we need to get rid of that 4. So we know we are multiplying by 4. So how do we get rid of it? Well, we divide by 4. So we divide by 4 on both sides to get y squared equals 9 over 4. What is the opposite of squaring? Well, it is square rooting. So to get y by itself, you need to square root both sides. So y squared square rooted is just y. Let's square root 9 and 4. So square root of 9 is 3. The square root of 4 is 2. So y equals 3 over 2. Now be aware when you're square rooting that there are two possible answers. Don't forget to include the minus answer. Because remember, if you multiply two minus signs together, you get a positive answer.